Hello kids! Welcome back to our YouTube classroom. Our subject for today is Science 5, Weeks 1 and 2. And our lesson is Useful and Harmful Materials. Come on and let's start! Let's start! Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Everything around you is matter. Each matter is different but they may be same in some ways. Knowing the different kinds of matter helps you understand its usage. Now what are the materials found in the environment? We have personal care products. These are materials that we use in cleaning our body. It includes number one, bath products. Examples are shampoo, conditioner, body wash, shaving cream, and facial cream. Next is mouth care. Examples are toothpaste and mouthwash. Another is hair products like gel, hair wax, hairspray, hair coat, and pomade. Next are lip products. These are lip balm, lipstick, and lip gloss. We also have body products. Examples are lotion, body soap, sunscreen, talgum products, moisturizer, deodorants, and body gel. We also have nail products like nail polish and nail polish remover. We also have fragrances like perfume, cologne, and body mist. Lastly, we have cosmetic products like eyeshadow, mascara, brow liner, blush on, concealer, and foundation. Another type of material found in the environment are the cleaning agents. These are materials or products used to clean things and the surroundings. Here are some of the common type of cleaning agents. Antiseptics. What are antiseptics for? They prevent the growth of bacteria. An example is agua oxinada or hydrogen peroxide. They are used to clean wounds. Next are disinfectants. They are chemicals that destroy bacteria. An example is Lysol disinfectant spray. Another type of cleaning agent are deodorizers. They are used to remove or conceal unpleasant smell. An example is Glade air freshener. Next are detergents. They are either in a form of powder or liquid, and they are used for removing dirt. Examples are Tide Powder and Ariel Liquid Detergent. Another type are polishes. They are used to smooth or shine surfaces. An example is Floor Wax. And the last one are the abrasives. They are substance that are capable of polishing or cleaning hard surface by rubbing or grinding. The best example of this is paper abrasives or papel de lija. Another material found in the environment are medicines. They are substance or preparation used in treating disease. Examples of which are vitamins, cough syrup, asthma inhalers, paracetamol for fever, and mephenamic acids for pain. Another material found in the environment are the food regions. They are additives to improve appearance and taste. We have two categories under it. Number one is color additives or food color. They are any dye or pigment or other substance that can impart color to food. And the next are taste and texture modifiers. We have also two categories under it. A. Flavor Enhancers They are used to improve flavor of food and drink with monosodium glutamate or MSG. And here are the examples. 
and the last under taste and texture modifiers are emulsifiers and stabilizers. They are often added to processed food to prevent particular parts from separating. Examples are margarine, mayonnaise, ice cream, and salad dressing. Another material found in the environment are farm chemicals. These are common agricultural chemicals that include fuel, solvents, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, fertilizers, and veterinary chemicals. Now what are these farm chemicals for? They are letter A, insecticides. They are agents for controlling harmful insects and pests that damage crops. Letter B, fungicides. They are agents for controlling diseases that damage field crops. And letter C, insect fungicides. Agents simultaneously control harmful insects, pests, and diseases that damage field crop. We also have letter D, herbicides. They are agents for controlling weeds. Letter E, rodenticides. They are agents for controlling rats and other rodents. Letter F, plant growth regulator. Agents to promote or inhibit growth of field crops. Letter G are attractants. These are agents that attract mainly harmful insects, pests by odor or by other means. Letter H, we have repellents. These are agents for having repellent action on harmful mammals and other birds that damage crops. And lastly, we have letter I, which are spreaders. These are agents that are mixed with other agricultural chemicals to enhance the adherence of these chemicals. Let's now go to the useful material found at home, in school, and in the community. What are useful materials? Useful materials are things that can be used anytime and do not harm human beings. They are beneficial at home and in the environment. They are useful if they serve their purpose and can be used for other purpose. Let's give some examples of useful materials that can be found at home, school, and the community. We have knife, glass, bleach, alcohol, matches, and insecticides. And now let's go to the harmful materials found at home, in school, and in the community. But first, here are some terminologies that you need to understand first. Harmful. It is capable of causing harm or injury. Next is materials. These are substances that are used to manufacture products. Products are things that you use in everyday life. We also have toxic. These are dangerous to people and animals, even in small amounts. They are also capable of causing injury or death, especially by chemical means, example of which is bleach. We also have explosive substances. These produce vapor or explode when they react with other substances. An example is fireworks. Corrosive substances. It eats away at other substances and even kills skin tissue. Example, car batteries. And the last word is flammable substances. These are gases, liquid and solid, that ignite and continue to burn in air if exposed to a source of ignition. An example is gasoline lighter. Let us always remember that harmful materials are labeled toxic, corrosive, flammable, or pressurized container. This label gives you an idea of different harmful chemicals. But how can we handle properly the useful and harmful materials? 
You should always be aware on how to use these materials properly because it will help you understand how to further improve the usefulness of such materials and control harm that it can give you and the environment. Always take note that materials are useful if they are vital, essential, and desirable. Now let's discuss vital materials. These are things that have great worth and meaning and something which is difficult to be thrown away. These are food, shelter, and clothing, which are considered as basic needs. Now what are essential materials? These are things that are considered as necessities, like sunlight, water, and oxygen, are some of the essential things that should exist for they help you to be alive and healthy. And lastly, what are desirable materials? These are things that you want to have because you consider them useful and important. Home appliances and some personal gadgets fall under this category. Harmful materials are things that may cause damage to properties, human, and other living things. Toxic substances are considered harmful materials. Materials like paints, thinners, bleaching agents, and other man-made activities like burning plastics, secondhand smoking, smoke coming from vehicles, and excessive use of chemicals or substances added to products you are exposed on can cause harm to you directly or indirectly. Also, a toxic material may also be corrosive and flammable. That is why it is necessary to read the label of the product that you buy and most importantly, know and understand the properties of the materials that you use every day. And that ends our lesson. I hope you learned a lot today and can answer our worksheets properly. Until our next lesson, goodbye!